hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video we're going to go over highlight and contour so if you want to see how i get that look then keep watching hey everybody so i know i'm coming on here with like almost all my face done but I decided that I wanted to show you guys in detail how, how, how I contour and highlight so I just have on my base which is my moisturizer um, my primer and I put on my foundation so the next part I'm going to move on to is highlight and contour if you want to see how I do my foundation, just go to the previous video and you should be able to see it there. Um, I have many videos on how I put on my foundation. I'm probably going to do a separate video again in detail about my foundation. But in the last video, um, I kind of went over it pretty, pretty well, um, just for people who don't know. So for my highlight and my contour, um, I like to start off with contour first so the contour stick that i use is from fenty beauty and it's their i think it's called the match stick i'm pretty sure it's called the match stick but this is the shade espresso if i'm not using this i'm going to use my um my rare beauty contour and this is in the shade 520w i like both of them I kind of want a different shade of something else. I don't know what I'm looking for, but maybe like a real cool shade. Because this is more like bronzing, but it looks really good on the skin, so I never skip this step. Um, so I'm going to do my matchstick for this video. And what I like to do is just use a brush. This is my Fenty foundation brush, and I'm going to just rub the product. I'm just going to rub the product on the brush directly. Sometimes I also like to just rub it on the back of my hand and warm it up. And then I'll just take the brush and go like that. So what we're gonna do is contour the um, hollows of our cheek. So you wanna contour to make your cheekbone stand out. Oh well, look sunken in so it can give you more structure to your face. So you contour right here. It's like right under your cheekbone. You can use your brush to fill it. It's right under your cheekbone where that hollow point is. That's where you want to contour. Um, contours have basically elevated in the, in the last couple of years. I wouldn't say putting it like low down here. You want to put it like right on that bone. Because if you put it lower, like right under, like it'll look like your face is sagging. So you kind of want to look youthful, maybe because I'm getting older. I like this look, but you kind of want to just put it right on the bone. And then I just basically stamp my brush in first just to place it where I want it to be. So I want it there. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go on to the other side and do the same thing. Just stamping the product. And I would stop. I stop like towards the middle of my eye. That's where I know where to stop at. I don't bring it all the way in. It depends on your face shape, cause some people like smile and like they cup the cheek and then it makes the, the apples of the cheek look really like plump. But I already have a round plump face, so I don't like doing that. So I'm just stamping it in and I'm starting at like the corner of my ear. So let me take this off. So you wanna start like right at the top of your ear and right on your cheekbone both sides um recently i like um bringing it up a little i don't know i just like how it looks when it's warm all around the face so i've been doing that also you want to contour your forehead i don't contour my forehead to make it for to make my forehead smaller which a lot of people do because everything you contour makes things look like smaller so you cutting your cheek to make your cheek look more chiseled you cut your 
um, not actually cutting, sorry. You're putting your contour to make your forehead look smaller, but I just like to do a little around my forehead just to give it like some dimension. I just like the way it looks when it's like um, the highlight and the contour shadowing. I love that look. So I put it right here, right at the top. I don't do nothing crazy. Um, I also like to take it underneath my lip and I think that adds for like the plump look. You just put it right under your lip and it makes it look a little plump. Some people also like to line the top of their lips, but I don't do that part because I already have shadowy upper lip. I take the contour and I put it underneath my jawline. So you want to put it right where the edge of your jawline is. And that just makes it underneath. And that just makes your... Um, all of this fat underneath your chin it makes it like seem to be gone seem to be like you're snatched so yeah i just like to chisel out my face as well i don't get carried away with it but i do like to define my jaw so we're defining our jawline That's basically where I like to put it. Now, after I put it in the places, I go back in with the brush without dipping back, without dipping back in the product, and I just buff it in. Make sure the lines aren't harsh, but we'll continue to blend when we put the highlight on. So, just wanna make the lines soft. So going to like the edges of where you put it at and blending it out top and bottom. So that's well blended. Now we're gonna do the forehead. Same thing, just blending out the edges. And you wanna blend that into your hairline. And then I also just Take whatever is on there and drag it right here to the sides. Now that we got our whole face blended, we're gonna start with the highlight. I'm gonna use my Born This Way concealer, which I love, like, I literally love this stuff. This is the shade Butterscotch. And I'm just going to put this under my eye. So, I put my hi highlight like this. I don't do the whole triangle. I just put it in the inner corner and then I do another corner like that. And that's basically all you need. And that's actually a lot that I just used just now. So you don't need a whole bunch of concealer, trust me. Um, I'm also putting it on my nose to give my nose that snatch effect. So highlight is to make everything stand out. Contour is to make everything disappear. So these are the natural places that you are lighter in your skin. You want to put, and if even if you're not lighter in your skin here, this is where you want to put your highlighter at to make these facial features be more prominent so I put it above my lip and now I'm putting it in the middle of my chin also you see how like I put the contour and now you naturally naturally can see this light spot in the middle of my forehead I'm gonna put a little right here because I don't like to go crazy in that area I don't like a lot of product on my forehead also, a lot of people like to do the reverse contour where you put the highlighter right here, but I just grab like the, the excess highlighter to put right there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, a lot of people either use a sponge or a brush. Um, it depends on how you feel. They both give you excellent um, results. I like using whatever is in my face, so I've been hooked on a beauty blender right now, so I'm gonna use the beauty blender. You can let the concealer dry down on your face just a little bit, give it a minute before you blend it out. And what, what's that 
You can let the concealer dry down on your face a little bit. Just give it a minute before you blend it out. And that's just gonna give you more coverage. So that's what you're looking for, especially if you don't wanna use a lot of product. And what I'm doing with this is just bouncing the beauty blender up and down on my skin, moving it back and forth to blend it out. So it's not hard at all. What you gotta do is take your time. And this is what I mean by using the excess um, highlight. I'm just gonna use whatever that's on my beauty blender and I'm going to go underneath that contour and just make it look seamless. Make it look um, clean. Now I'm gonna go underneath my eye. And what I like to do is just tap in the area a little bit just to get the product on the sponge. And then I blend down from the bridge of my nose, so under my eye to the bridge of my nose. And then I tap it on the sides of my nose. Just like that. And then I blend the middle out. And then I blend the end out. And for the end, and my lashes hanging off, but I'm gonna fix it. Um, you're gonna take the tip of your beauty blender and you're gonna squeeze it just to get that sharp edge. And then when it's like too much like that, you're gonna take the back of your beauty blender and you're gonna fade it out. Just like that. Now right here, if you have like severe creasing underneath your eye, like if you just have a lot of folds under your eye, you can directly go in with setting your under eye. But um, my creasing is not that terrible. So I'm just gonna go on to the next eye and then we're gonna set. I'm gonna do my forehead and then I'm gonna do my nose. That's it. Now that's only step one. There's still more steps. <laughs> so next step, I like to go in with a little bit more highlight. And this is the Born This Way also. And this is the shade Golden Beige. And sometimes I dot this on the back of my hand because I don't want to be too extra. Or like I wipe, wipe the excess off inside the bottle, which is what I'm going to do now. And then I'm just going to dot it right here underneath the eye, right here, and then the nose again. So that's the only places I put it. While I let this sit, I'm gonna go back in with the contour. I'm going to use, this is the E22, and all I'm gonna do is tap my brush into, into the contour. I'm gonna take the brush and basically do swiping motions underneath my nose. And what that does is lift the nose up. And then after I do that, I like to take the brush and put it right here, like where my eye shadow and my nose meets, right on the sides. And I like to just drag it down the sides of my nose and let it meet with the thing that we just did at the bottom. So that is 
is all I like to do for now for the nose. And let's blend this out and then we'll continue with that. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend out my under eye using the same exact technique I just told you. Back to the center and carry it out. Now we're officially done with liquid highlight contour. Um, you would also want to use this step to put your liquid blush if that's what you're going to do. I'm not doing that today, so you can skip that part with me if you want. Now I'm going to set my under eye. And I, before I set it, I'm going to use my beauty blender. And I'm going to go back underneath my eyes just to make sure that I have no creasing. You want to get all the creasing out before you set because if you set while you still have creasing it's just gonna look just like that like creasing so I'm gonna use my what is this called I'm gonna use my triangle puff and that I got from Amazon I have a whole pack of these and I'm going to use my um, Studio Fix Foundation Plus Concealer. That's what this is called. It's, I don't, is this full coverage? I believe this is full coverage powder. And this is in the shade C7. And you want to set your under eye with a powder before you go in with your um, baking. If you bake, because if you don't, you're just going to look crazy. So. Set your under eye. My light went on. You're gonna just tap your um, triangle on your powder, and then if I feel like I have too much, I just tap it on the back of my hand, and then you just go directly under your eye in the same area you put the highlight. And just press it in. And you want to put this everywhere that you put the highlighter. that part is done you want to do your um, translucent powder or your setting powder this is one size powder in the color sweet honey this is the part that you can bake if you want to um, I bake a little so what I do is I take some powder on my sponge I also like scrape off the excess so I tap it in here and then I scrape some off like that also after I do that I tap it on the back of my hand because I don't want too much powder then I take my little wedge my triangle and I literally put it in the same area down my nose and on the sides Same thing to the other side. I love using this glowish um, by Huda Beauty. This is in the color rich, but sometimes it's too dark. 
I mean, sometimes it's not the look I'm going for. So lately, I've been using my <clears throat> lately I've been using my Fenty Beauty like bronze and highlight little kit. What's it called? This is called the Sun Stacker. Yeah. So this is like a highlight and bronzing kit. It has a bunch of highlight and contour colors. Not a bunch of highlight, but like two highlights and the rest is contours. So I like to go in with this palette and I'm going to use a Morphe E4 brush with the shade Coco Naughty. And that's gonna be my powder contour. So I'm just gonna build it up on the brush, just like that. Tap off whatever's on the brush. And I'm just gonna basically go in the same areas that we put the darker, the um, cream contour in. And I'm just gonna stamp my brush in. And I'm also gonna use circles to blend it out. So literally, Okay, so I'm just gonna take the same brush that we did the contour with for the um, for the nose, and I'm gonna just go in with the shade right here next to the one we just used. And I'm going to use this to contour my nose. So I'm gonna start at the bottom, start at the bottom, and I'm gonna bring it up the sides. This is how you powder contour. And highlight. I'm just gonna dust off the highlight. I mean, I'm just gonna dust off the the bake that we have going on right now. And I'm gonna use my Jaclyn Hill, my Jaclyn Hill Brightening Setting Powders. And I'm gonna use the shade Hazelnut, I believe it says. No, Apricot. Right here, and I'm just gonna load a good amount on my brush, and I'm gonna tap it on first, and then I'm gonna swipe it. And this just ensures no flashback from the powder from the baking, and also this just adds a brightening effect to the face, which I love. Okay. And then I feel like my nose got lost again, so I'm just gonna go back in with the brush. I'm not gonna add any product. I'm gonna use my Bare, Min Bare Minerals Performance Wear Face Powder in the shade Latte 24. And I'm just gonna take my um, Sephora 50S brush. And this is just gonna tie all of these powders together. So I'm gonna add my my blush, my lips, and finish the rest of my eyes, and I'll come back to say my goodbyes. So this is the completed look. I just did my lips, I did blush. Um, I have all those details. Well, I don't have the details of the products. If you wanna know what I did for blush, I have on, um, I think it's Dragon Fruit Days by House Labs, yeah. Dragon fruit, dragon fruit, dragon fruit days by House Lab. This is so pretty. Um, for the lips, I have on uh, Marshmallow by NYX. This is NYX Butter Gloss and Marshmallow. So pretty. I paired that with Night Moth Lip Liner. And I also put on um, a Marc Jacobs lip gloss on top. And this is called Want Me. But yeah, oh, I have, I'm gonna have a short video coming up on it so you can actually see exactly how I got this look. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something today and I hope you all have a blessed day. See you in the next one. Bye.